Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Disney with the Gregories. In this video, we're going to compare the old annual passes with the new Disneyland Paris Pass, is what they've called it now. Yes. Um, uh, before we get into it though, uh, if you're new here, click that subscribe button and that like button and we're going to talk about everything Disneyland Paris pretty much and take you on our travels. Um, but anyway, this video. So obviously this is, um, yesterday is when the announcement came out and the date of recording this. Um, there's been some big changes yes. and a lot of upset yeah, people out there. Not um, a lot of happy people. No, including <laughs> us. Um, but I thought we'd give you a quick video of what we know so far, the rundown of everything comparing the two. So, yeah, so let's get into it. Yeah, <laughs> so I will just let you know what the current four passes are. I'm holding up five, but there are four. So we have the Discovery Pass, which allows you into the park 150 days a year. We've got the Magic Flex that lets you in 300 days a year. The Magic Plus, which is 360. 50 yep. sorry <laughs> um and the infinity which is 365 days a year and that's the current pass that we have yes and so what disneyland paris are looking to do now is as they rename them to the disneyland pass um, and it's reducing to three passes and so they are um, the bronze first which mm -hmm. is oh sorry i've got some notes uh, 170 <laughs> days entry um, then you have the silver, which is a 300 days entry, and the gold, which is still 365 days entry. Yeah. So... <clears throat> a lot of change. So what we're yeah. going to do is we're going to go through comparing the Infinity Pass and mainly the Gold Pass. So we've got, we're going to yeah. compare the Infinity Annual Pass and the Gold Disneyland Pass because those are the most similar, well, they're not similar at all anymore, yeah, no. <laughs> but with what we have, and we'll go through what we're managing to keep in um, perks, what we're going to lose, um, and Simon will sort of go through, um, you know, the renewal process that we did as well. Yes, we were extremely lucky. Yeah. Um, as you know, we, this is the day after the 12th of July. Yeah. Well, we just renewed our Infinity Pass on the 10th of July. Yeah. <laughs> Before the announcement went out on the yes, 11th. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what happened, um, we were very lucky as say the 10th is when we upgraded mm -hmm. and the 11th when they announced it, it was we didn't realise until later on in the day we found out they actually stopped people going up yeah. to the desks and renewing um, annual passes at that point as well. As the new date, as you may have been made aware of, if you've seen it all over social media, is the 19th of July, of July yeah. is when they're going to do that. So they literally halted sales from the 11th <coughs> to the 19th. Yes, and that's what the whole week. We probably would have last, left it to the last day of our yeah. holiday to do it because our current passes covered our holiday. Um, but we needed to renew them to, to obviously carry on. We've got a trip yeah. um, planned in September. But it was only because the booth doesn't open till 12 and we had to leave the park at half past 12 that we did it the day before. Yeah. <laughs> so like Simon said, like really, really very, lucky. Very lucky, yeah. indeed. So why were we so lucky? Well, let me just explain that. Uh, first of all, it was a renewal discount. So um, as our pastors say, uh, we were renewing before the end of the last one, uh, we actually got a 15% reduction mm -hmm. on that. So that came to 424 euros for the Infinity Pass. Yeah. So mm -hmm. looking compared to the prices now, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, and also what we believe, um, from what we've read so far, we go more into in a minute, is we keep our 20% discount for the length of our card. So we've kind of, whoever upgraded on the day with us they're the people that literally have got the best benefits yeah. it seems for the longest amount and of that's time for merchandise, uh, for merchandise your discount that is yeah the food staying the same at 15 percent mm -hmm. and also we do get privilege tickets which we have just used um for the 30th because we didn't have our new pass then to um book our park entry for that trip that's coming up um, so we had to actually use the privilege ticket for that, luckily yeah. enough. So those are rumoured, those benefits are 20% off merch and the privilege tickets is rumoured to last the length of your annual pass validity period. So once yeah. our new passes end, that will go. 
but we are going to go into the fact that we are going to lose a lot of perks yes. Um, that we had when we technically signed up on the 10th, but apparently Disneyland Paris in the terms and conditions say that they can change the perks at any time that they like. Mm. So what are the main differences exactly? Uh, I'll let you go through those as Thank we've got much. a long list. So Becky, we'll probably <laughs> will be, looking be looking to refer down, down yeah, a lot want, more than this. We want to make sure that we get all the details right. Yes, so we've written it all down. Yes, as right as and as possible. Well, yeah. give you the correct information as up to date as we. Yes, yeah, so what it we're to getting be. through um, yeah. from official sources and also people's discussions online and on the annual pass chat and things like that of what people have had yeah. confirmed is staying. So the Infinity Pass perks were 15% off of our renewal and that was the discount that they were mm -hmm. offering for renewal. So that this is all as per the 10th of July when we renewed. Um, we had 365 day entry. We had free parking in the Disneyland Paris car park, including the infinity area where you got a special code and it was the special area right at the front of the car park to park. We had the VIP dedicated viewing areas for the Disney Dreams and also the um, daytime parade. We had 20% discount off of merch, 15% discount off of food, and we also got the magic hour from 8.30 till 9.30 in the morning, which also on-site hotel guests get also. Yeah. So we also got the privilege tickets, which you have a maximum of 20 per year and five per week of your stay yeah. um, per pass. We had free luggage storage, free stroller hire, free wheelchair hire. Um, <laughs> We will put these on the screen yeah. in a moment anyway. For you to we look at. had the VIP dedicated entrance, so that was for Magic Plus and also Infinity. So when we went to enter the parks, you went to a special gate, which was often shorter than the main gates, mm -hmm. especially at park opening. We also had discounted room rates um, via Disney Direct, so we yeah. would had a dedicated phone line that we could call and we could get. Um, Dis Disney discounts. They called it Disney discount. But well, yeah, <laughs> debatable. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is. We also got free kennels. We don't have a pet, so we've never used that. No. And we also got a free of charge photo pass. Now, some of these um, perks, p other people that had um, renewed their pass before us had been told <coughs> that some things like the luggage storage, yeah. the um, the kennels, the wheelchair, and buggy yeah, hire. and buggy stroller hire had finished, but a lot of people were still saying that they were giving it out, and it's only been released now a date for those things to yeah. finish. So. Price-wise, the Infinity Pass at full price was €499, Euros, and now that is the same price as the new silver Disneyland Pass. Um, but that, with that pass, you now only get 300 days entry, yeah. so that's 65 less days. You only get 10%, yeah. <laughs> and which is only, if you remember the beginning, uh, the same as the Magic Flex. Pass yeah, as well. so a lot of people that had the Magic Plus, so cool. obviously yeah. it's still a lot of days, <clears throat> you know, um, to come down. You also only get 10% off of food and merchandise now. You only get 10% off of a photo pass, whereas on the Infinity it was free. And you don't get any Magic Hours. Um, yeah, so that's annoying um the gold is similar to the infinity in the days you can access the park so you can access 365 days a year um you get 15 percent off both food and merchandise which is obviously a five percent reduction in merchandise mm -hmm. now you do get free parking in the car park but no vip access area anymore no. um there is also, actually we haven't written down here, but there's also no VIP entrance. So you don't have a dedicated <clears throat> line now. You literally go to all the turnstiles that everybody goes yeah. to. So those, those lines will be longer. You get a free photo pass still with the gold pass. And you mm. do get magic hour. That's the only pass now that you do get the magic hour yeah. with. Um so we'll put the, like Simon said, we'll put the comparisons up on screen, just showing you the perks and what the new passes give. Mm -hmm. Basically, the bronze pass gives you no additional perks apart from the day's entry. Um, 
and then obviously you've got reduced um, perks on the silver and massive reduced perks on the gold. Yes. So what does that mean for us going forward from now on? Well, there seems to be what we can make out two key dates mm. um, that changes are happening. Um, quite significant ones. So the first and, and one, quick. <laughs> yes, and quickly. Yes. So the first one is from the July the 19th. Um, is when we lose most of those perks, if they were still available, as Becky mm. just said, we weren't sure on a few of them. Uh, so that would be including baggage storage, uh, the wheelchair, uh, stroller, buggy hire, um, the dedicated entrance, Becky just said as well, the infinity parking area um, from the 19th, and the kennels, if that was still a thing, so we have no experience with that <laughs> as no pets. <laughs> um, so they'll be going very soon. Yeah. Um, but then the 1st of August is when we kind of lose some more. Also, some people use some, some of these perks more than us. Yeah, um, true. So that's some true. people relied on, on certain perks that we didn't really use. Yeah. So when we were, we'll, we'll tell you our thoughts later of what we, we feel about it. Um, but yeah. If we just... So from the 1st of August, we lose the hotel discount uh, via the direct telephone yeah. and the Infinity line. Um, so, as I said before, there could be a whole other video on whether it's a discount or not. Um, but there was times of the year where certain hotels, if you weren't too fussy, that we do, you know, we got a really good yeah, deal. Yeah, we said David Crockett. No and November, yeah, for yeah. David Crockett with my mum last year, which was a really good deal. Uh, next one is the day ticket. Uh, ticket. <laughs> 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 the day ticket discount. Um, this was listed separate, and I'm not too sure when this actually kind of stopped. Was it still going? Because you can't buy tickets on the door anymore. Yeah, we're not really sure um, how that works. We never used no, it. No, not too we? sure. No, it's always a privilege to get. Um, but this was a separate one. Um, I can't remember too much about. But that stops on the 1st of August anyway. And also the VIP viewing areas, which we have seen a lot of comments already that people yeah. use quite a lot, uh, especially they've got the kids and things. Obviously. Well, that's the thing. You get a decent view. It, yeah, and for us, it's a pro and it's a con. It's a lot more mm. spacious. You have a lot more space to move around. So imagine if you've got kids, it's a nicer situation to be in. Yeah. When you're back in the main crowds, and especially when people have got buggies and things, people are like climbing over you and it gets a bit crazy. Yeah. So I imagine if there's a group of you and you've got young children, it's really nice. We actually find, and this was the same actually when we went with your mum and sat in the disabled mm. area, is you don't get a great view of the drone show. Please tell me no, if you think different. Show, yeah. Especially in the disabled area, we found actually we couldn't even see the whole of the 30th of the no. drone because you're, you're standing at an you're angle to the castle. You're quite at an angle, yeah, it's to, it's kind of just to the right, so... But then the benefit is half the drones. yeah. But then the benefit is you can see everything on the castle. Yeah, so when there's nice the light and show, and all the all the pictures and, and everything. Close to the fountains and the yeah. fireworks better. Um, so it has its pros, pros and cons. cons yeah. We tend to not use it. We've used it a few times. Mm. Um, Never use yeah. it for parades. Um, no. I can imagine though, if you don't want to, you know, people sit on the curbs like an hour Hours, before sometimes. Yeah. So um, if you did book that, and you know, go straight into there and have a bit of room. It would be a lot easier. Yeah, and the thing is, it is booked, so it's, it was yeah. a, it wasn't a first come first serve basis. So you knew you were going to get into yeah. that that area. So I can see again with kids, you know, wanting to see all those characters and up close, and that would be something that you know you would use. So what happens with the privilege tickets that we currently get? Well, we're not too sure. Um, they did reopen it yesterday um, when we managed to book our privilege yeah. tickets because there's a lot of people moaning that you know they literally just stopped everything. Yeah. You couldn't renew, you couldn't do nothing, you couldn't book your ticket. It was suddenly, even for existing pass holders, it seemed like, well, why have I got one? For, for a few hours, yeah. it was, you couldn't do anything, sort of. Um, so it was quite extreme. But from what we can make out, uh, we, I'm, I'm sceptical whether this would be for it, for someone like us, it's just really, just recently upgraded. Um, the privilege tickets will run to the end of the validity of your Pass. pass yeah um, so, so you know it's over a year away from now on, on and with si simon mentioned we're obviously going in september we've renewed our pass but it wasn't allowing us to book um the privilege tickets beyond our current pass so no, we the, could book our days that were free but not yeah privilege tickets. so on the 30th which is actually the grand finale day mm. um of the 30th um 
anniversary. That was actually completely booked out for annual yeah. pass holders. The wait list is full. But because Simon's mum has a valid Infinity Pass until, I believe, February or April. Yeah. I can never remember February, which one. Um, she actually has booked those two privilege tickets for us, which, again, I think when those do get lost... Um, if it does carry on for the validity of your past, that's yes. great. But I think people, well, that is something that people are going to really miss because yeah. on days like that, you're you're yeah, you're yeah. stuck, Co aren't you? Kind of, yeah. Because that's also changing. I think, uh, yeah. but we'll get into that in a moment. Um, so also the other one as well is the magic hour and discounts. They will run to the end of our path, so we yeah. can still get in early because um, in the silver that. Uh, and below silver, well, bronze and silver, um, that Don't disappears. It, yeah. yeah, it's only the gold and the new ones that get your magic hour, and we do get the twenty percent merch, yeah. which is good for until mid August when our pass runs out next year. So yeah. that's quite good. I'm I'm happy with that. Oh, it's only five percent, but that adds up. But they're the only bit. things. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. So That's the only quite, thing. It's so. quite, yeah, and we'll go through. Like I said, we'll go through our reviews yeah. at the end. But it was, it's quite a shock, and I just. I can't imagine how disappointed we would have been if we'd have not if oh, we'd have left it till yesterday. So what happens next? The Disneyland passes will be available from the nineteenth of July, but only for current <coughs> annual pass holders. Yeah. They are not on sale for general sale, no. and there is no date of yeah, when we that can't will find be. Any date for that for general sale? There might be a reason for that. That you'll get yes. <laughs> so we have also been told that <clears throat> Disneyland are limiting the amount of passes that they sell. So there will only be so many bronze, silver and gold passes, which means that when they are run out, their you know, certain passes at certain times of the year will be unavailable. Yeah. So they're allowing people to renew their passes and, you know, obviously go on to the new passes. But at the moment, the people that lost out because they left, they let their passes run out <coughs> weren't able to renew in time and they stopped the sales of annual passes for, you know, anything other than renewals. Those people still can't get a pass. No. So I know that that has caused a lot of upset as well. Yeah, for people who got booked trips, literally next week we saw a lot of going to renew. Yeah, I mean, the thing is... But the lady never mentioned anything She to didn't us. say a word. Oh, no, they probably didn't well, know no. either. Um, Top yeah. secret sort of thing, you know. Uh, so there's no leaks, but not not a whisper. No, but Nothing. then, as I said, in the terms and conditions, it says that it can change at any time, yeah. which, you know, we wouldn't know because it's in French. Well <laughs> throw them away. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's in French, we can't read it anyway. Yeah, no, unfortunately. Um, right, so... Um, People that are wanting to renew also do not get a 15% no. discount anymore. And it's been rumoured that the dis disability 25% discount is going to stay, but I, ha I ha don't that know that if yet. that's official <clears throat> yet. No. So that would be still something that needs to be confirmed. And I don't know, mentioning that, I, I forgot to look oh, at yes. if they used to get, uh, like get care of or one other person. Um, got was it the same discount? Yeah, I think I it was the same said. discount, twenty five percent off for their pass as well. So two people technically, you know, getting twenty five percent off, which yeah. is quite good. So, but try and double check that if you're going yeah. soon, just to be sure, um, and just to know if you're disability, just if you're disabled. <laughs> you're in the level. Yeah. Um, so yeah. at the moment, if you've got a pass that is due to expire, you can renew to a new Disneyland pass one month before and one month after. The expiry date and this is different because we believe we had two months before well, we had, expiry yeah, yeah. we uh, um, say renewed on the 10th and um, our pass runs out 18th no, of sorry, august. 17th of august yeah yeah so, so we had two months month. and mm -hmm. i don't think you can renew it after no, that day that we were you were stuck never after heard of you've that, done that yeah. no so um so but that at the moment that's saying that's only for online if you want to buy a disneyland pass pass that's yes. a bit of a mouthful isn't it yeah. pass pass, <laughs> <Not an annual> pass. <laughs> yeah um <laughs> you can go to the studio's entrance at the ticket booth that you used to go to for annual passes mm -hmm. and they will cancel your current pass and give you a new one obviously you have to pay for it yeah. um now if you're in a situation like us or we still had a month and a bit left on our pass we are not sure whether that extra time gets added onto your new pass no. or whether you get a refund or you refund. just lose it. We're not yeah. sure. Being so, cancelled 
that's it's unclear yeah one of those three things I guess. and it being cancelled will mean you obviously lose your 20 percent discount you lose your privilege tickets yeah. you would go straight onto the disneyland pass um benefits yeah benefits so let's talk about the disneyland pass a little bit more so what we understand well what we do know sorry or not understand is it's going to be fully digital now and it's going to work just through your Disneyland Paris app mm -hmm. uh, like you'd use normally for booking your reservations, dinner reservations, everything like that. Um, but there is a change to the reservation system as such. So they're getting unlimited access, it says, uh, to days. So it seems like they're scrapping the limit to mm. pass holders being able to book. Um, whether that means a waiting list going or not, I don't know. Um, so if the park is not sold out, You'll be able to, it should show green and you should be able to book that day. That's for my understanding. Um, unfortunately, it's still only three days at a time. So mm. I would have liked that and I think everybody else would like that. Four <coughs> or five would have been perfect amount mm. for me. Uh, four mainly, just go for um, three nights would have been good. Really. Yeah, so like on our last uh, trip, yeah. we had to, we were going for three, day, three nights, four days. So on the end of the second day, um, well, at the beginning of the, the beginning of the second day, sorry, yeah. we had to then book our fourth day. Now, luckily, that was free, mm -hmm. but I know some people in these cases um, have yeah. to go on a waiting list and wait till and you know any been, time yeah, up to the morning nine of sometimes. yeah, or just before the yeah. official opening. Yeah, because yeah, you have to wait for people to cancel. So it's, yeah, it's, it's quite bad. Um, so there is still that, unfortunately, but at least you know in advance now. If the park isn't due to be sold out for whatever reason, it should show green and you can book, yeah, which is good. We believe that originally, well, previously, they had a cap on the amount of annual yeah. pass tickets that they wanted the annual pass holders to use up. So, you know, say there was 500 a day, once those <coughs> 500 were booked, you'd go on a waiting yeah. list um, and that was how it worked. However, they're now, but like Simon said, they're now saying, you know, <clears throat> it shouldn't be that we can't book a day, but then you can go on Disneyland Paris and buy a ticket. Um, you know, if there's capacity, then you'll be Which able makes to sense book the day. As they're going to get rid of privileged tickets. So, well, although they want less annual pass holders, it should mean if you are one, you should be able to get in more. Also, the more pe the, surely they want the parks to be at capacity. That's the more more yeah, sales in food and merch. Um, so, I mean, the vlogs will be coming out soon. Yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> We are going to assume that um, staying on site, you still will not need to um, book your days. Mm. So although you're not going to have the infinity line to get room rates on or room only, um, there is other places like Magic Rate Breaks, for example, and other places that you can book without your tickets. You know, you add them on as you go through the process. So being an annual pass holder and you get in there with your Magic Pass, the Magic Pass should get you scanned through the first person that's usually at the park mm -hmm. that checks you're valid. You know, they do that via annual pass if we've booked our days. Um, and then once you get to the machines, they actually don't have a clue if you've booked or not or anything. It's literally if you're it valid for that, that day. Way, yeah. So if your pass is on a blackout day and you try to get in, it will tell you no. <laughs> but being Infinity 365 or the new gold, you should be able to walk straight through and your Magic Pass, will say, will get you through the person. So we'd like to assume that you wouldn't need to book days staying on site still yeah I, booking room only yeah and i believe that's the case i saw a comment from a lady yesterday who her husband and sons don't have any kind of pass at the moment so they've booked a room and they're actually she's going to add herself and her daughter who are annual pass holders onto the room um mm. with just the additional city tax um her question was do we still get extra magic hours? And the answer was yes. If you're staying on site, you also get extra yeah. magic hours. That's just included with the hotel that you're staying yeah. in. Yeah. So. so when you get there and you book in, you all get a magic pass, which yeah. is your room key yeah, and everything. Key. And that will give you access because you are an on-site hotel guest. Mm -hmm. You will get the extra magic hours. So if you're losing that, then um, that's obviously a perk yeah. if you stay on site. Yeah. So another thing that we've been told that is a perk of the new um, Disneyland passes, and this is also for annual pass members as well that have still got annual passes, is that there's going to be a lot more exclusive events, mm -hmm. um, four events a year, and also unique character experiences. 
So that's something that is going to come back. I don't think they've had an annual pass event since March, was uh, it? No, I think they had one for Pride. Or was that a separate Pride one? That I was just remember. a Pride oh, Yeah, party, there was one in yeah. March, though, yeah, which a lot of people uh, didn't like from what we saw. Um, yeah. I, I th we have separate views about organised Disney events. <laughs> we actually went to Electroland when it was on, yeah, and that was really one. well organised. Yeah, that was good. But we have been to a Halloween soiree where it was an absolute, absolute shambles. Mess. Didn't get to see any of the parade or anything because we're stuck in various parts of the park. Yeah, well, they like the they time. guide you around an area so you can't because obviously they're trying to get everyone else out of the park so you can come in because it's a ticketed event. Yeah. And we just couldn't get anywhere. Everywhere we tried to go, they were like going, telling you to go another way. And also the event, the, well, it was the Pride event, wasn't it? That they had a complete muck up with the yeah, the tech. Yeah. So they had no the sound main, or something. I can't remember who it was. The main artist, yeah, couldn't get on stage, and people were waiting for two hours, waiting to hear something. No communication. Apparently, just sat he offered there, to watch the night disappear. Well, and, yeah. Apparently, um, he offered to do an acoustic set, and Disneyland Paris said yeah. no. But as you so, know. <laughs> Being annual pass holders as well, or if you're not, you may not know, that we still have to buy tickets for these events. Yes. So as exclusive as they are, and as good as they may be with the character There's still a price things, involved. There's a price, yeah. yeah. And I, I'd like to think, if I remember right, it was 50 euros or above, I think. I don't think it's under 50 euros. No. So it's quite a, it's quite a lot. I know they take into account what they're doing, staying extra hours, paying staff, but still... You get you're paying now seven hundred euros. Well, they're for not gold. staying later though, are they? Because um, they just kick everyone else out. What well, they do? So. It's usually oh, extra studios, characters isn't it? and things so, as well. Yeah, yeah. And the characters and that. So yeah, the studio usually closes a bit earlier, doesn't it? But we're not much yeah. really. So, but swings and roundabouts. Let us know if you've done them and you're happy with that. Um, yeah. But you know, it's not something we would use unless it was a specific thing that we're really interested in. But um, yeah, unfortunately. Like the Marvel one, where you got too drunk to turn up. England won the World Cup. No, we didn't, we didn't win the World Cup at all. It was a semi final, was it? Yeah. <laughs> it was a happy yes. moment. It was a happy, a happy moment. And it was yeah. silly hot. Uh, we just got dehydrated and I busted. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, it's a sports bar's fault because they were selling yeah. uh, jugs of beer. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so <laughs> we've also read things online where people are trying to work out the benefits. Is it worth it? Are the new passes worth it at the new yeah. price? So the gold um, pass is six nine nine. So bearing in mind you're losing a lot of perks, and the day's access is still the same as Infinity, um, but obviously you're not getting as much for it. That's a two hundred euro price increase. That is a lot. So people have we've seen people trying to work out how many times you'd have to go, how many days you'd have to yeah. go to make it beneficial. And I think the general consensus is about 12 days in a year. And we're assuming, which, I must say briefly, that these are cheap for holidays, so probably staying off-site. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I think they're basing it on the ticket sale price. So, like, basically, well, possibly, if, you bought, yeah, if you bought 12 tickets... Divided it, yeah. Yeah, it's obviously cheaper. So we have stayed, or will have stayed, more than 12 days this year, and probably with another... Um, holiday to book hopefully fingers crossed this year mm -hmm. so for us it is probably something that we would have to look into whether it's one of us has the gold pass and one of us has the silver pass yeah. but then you kind of weigh out well it's 200 mm -hmm. euros mm -hmm. and then but, I, I won't be able to get in for extra magic time but that that's the only and thing you're losing the 50 days now and which 50 is a big days. thing. Be, you know, the Magic Plus being 15 days, it was usually like a week around Halloween or something, I think, oh, uh, and Christmas, and it's pretty much it or something. So it was... Yeah, it, so... You, uh, well, actually, it's time, 65 days in total. If you had a gold... Well, now, yeah, yeah, if you had a gold pass, you'd be... Compared to the old one. Yeah. yeah. So if we have one gold, one silver, there would be 65 yeah. days that we can't go into the parks together. One of us wouldn't get ma get magic hours, so we yeah. wouldn't be able to get in for that extra time in the morning. Obviously, you do only need one pass to get the perks as long as that person is with you to buy the merch and the um, food. Mm -hmm. And we also tend to stay off site in a lot of the cheaper yeah. hotels because... We are going a lot. We want to keep the pricing as cheap as possible. Travel and everything has got more expensive mm -hmm. from the UK over the last few years. So we just tend to look at that. And also, we're never there, are we? No, so at the end of the day, it's somewhere to, to sleep. Out, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we recently stayed at Campanile, so we'll be doing a review on that yeah. shortly. So watch out for that if mm -hmm. you're interested. 
Um, but what are your thoughts then, Simon? I honestly don't. Well, first initial thoughts that come out, you just look at the price, don't you, and hear what's going, and you kind of want to tell Disney where to go. <laughs> yeah, lots of In people. So many words. So, lots of people have said no. I'm yeah, not doing I mean, it. A lot of people. There's been a few polls I've seen um, on Facebook, Twitter, etc., and that. And well, the one I, I clicked on this morning to see the results as well. I was thinking about it. I went on the fence um, on one of them, but yeah, the I results did, were we are thinking, in favour of no. It was 86%. No. Yeah, yeah and they're out. They're out. So that's quite a high number, and that was 4,000 votes on that. So thing is. I can't. I can't really decide. Do we? Did we use all those other features? No. Yeah. Unfortunately. When when for we us. actually wrote down the list, if um, I just bring it up again, when we went through the list, we actually kind of thought about how many of these things do we actually yeah. even use. The things that we're losing, the baggage storage, we hardly use that at all because we drive. So we only used to have to use that. Try to use that if we went on Eurostar. Um, yeah, and we couldn't get, check in yet. When you get kicked out of your hotel by 11 and you, your train isn't until 6, yeah. you, know, you can't walk around your park with your suitcase all day. So, no. Um, well, there might be other places we don't know about. You can store your luggage. or Well, you can, if you're on site, keep it at the concierge and go back yeah. to the hotel. But then you know, you've kind of got to go back. So the fact yeah, that it was free it's was not just ideal nice. if you stay staying off site and you do that, if they let you, you know, it could be another hour and a half round trip to buses and whatever yeah to, um to wheelchair rental we don't need a wheelchair no. stroller rental we don't need a stroller no. kennels we don't have pets this no. is <laughs> don't have pets don't have yeah. children vip um, areas dedicated well using them um vip areas yeah didn't really use them no dedicated drives. entrance we did use yeah. although sometimes if the queues weren't big we would go to the normal ones anyway yeah. so later in the day you know you're always stuck Park, in the queue to begin with anyway because they the people outside the have Disney to scan hotel you. scanning yeah you have to join that queue anyway it's, it's only, only then when once you go you through to, to the barriers one. yeah that we had a couple there that you could walk down yeah and beat i don't know 50 other people in that's it really so it's not like it used to be the older days on the left hand side. Obviously, they're doing works, so that's yeah, why. Yeah, you literally just go around. Uh, you rounds. went around there completely separate to everybody, and you just walked straight in, yeah. which was a lot better. Um, dedicate, so dedicated entrance we went yeah. through Infinity Park area. Now we do use this a lot yeah. because we drive. But when we used to have the magic, what was it called? Dream, no, Dream, Dream Pass, Pass before yeah. the Infinity, you got free entrance to the car park, but no Infinity <clears throat> passing. No. Circ passing, parking. So it is just a little bit more of a walk, but hopefully the old, uh, the old walking, thingies. Yeah, walking escalators will be working soon. Yeah, we'll so be working. is that. The last one was, but we were parked parallel to it so we didn't use it and also we found the last few times we've been the infinity park has been so full it's actually been hard to find a space yeah and we haven't been getting there too late either no so that's you know that's something hotel um discount as we said sometimes you do find it's yeah. cheaper we sometimes always, you we don't we do always try to use it we always give a ring just in case but we've um, also booked for Expedia. To stay on site. but yeah i've always Expedia, Trivago, and we've even booked disney um, hotels through yes, that cheaper so than Disney will give us a price. That's why I'm hoping, assuming that we can still book room only and our pass get us in, you know, if it's on an eligible day, that that's still a possibility yeah. to do. Um, then we can still go cheap. Otherwise, it's a completely different story if that doesn't happen and it really affects whether we'd renew the pass because otherwise you'd just basically you're having to buy a package all the time. Yeah. Um, um, the day ticket discount, we've never used that. And the VIP viewing area, as Simon said, we don't really use that no. either anymore. Um, privileged tickets, we've actually never used one. Um, Except for now with my mum's, we have yeah. to. It, it, we've just, yeah, we've had to for that, but we've we actually found trip, but... when we've gone as a, of a family with people that don't have annual passes, it's been cheaper for them to actually book a package than it has yeah. to try and book a room. And even with the privilege tickets, also, when you're going as a big group, you're limited, like we said, to the five in a week. Yeah. So if everyone's going for four days and, you know, even with me, you and your mum's passes, we can't we get everyone, we haven't got enough for everyone. So that's not really something that we've actually had to use before, yeah. but I know lots of people do. Magic hour. And we just we thought about this the other day in the whole last year, I think. <clears throat> 
I think yesterday was the only day this yeah. year that we've actually managed to get in for Magic Hour. So, so if we did do a gold and a silver pass, I don't think that that would be an absolute nightmare. Mm. To be honest, it might be the type of kind of thing where Simon could go in, do a bit of filming for an hour, and yeah. I just hang around, go get a Starbucks or, Star Starbucks. Starbucks or something, and go in a bit later. Because um, that's what we tend to do in Magic Hour, isn't it, when it's quiet, to yeah. try and do some filming and things. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's it. Yeah. So there's lots of things We're where still people, on the fence. yeah, there's lots that we'd have to do the maths. We'd have to work yeah. it out. Yesterday I would have said no. Today, but Disney means so much to us, and we yeah, love but going. Like a lot of people said, the Disney magic it disappears with all this, doesn't it? A little bit it takes it away. I think, unfortunately, you don't feel privileged. I guess um, mm. when we first bought them. You got all this stuff, it was, I don't know. It felt a bit go. like a VIP, I kind guess. Kind of, yeah. Especially on the Infinity Pass. Um, you had now you were paying just... a lot of money. I mean, that re that went up 200 euros on its own anyway. Yeah. But then you had all the perks and it was worth it. Now, if you want to pay 499 euros, what, what, can, what can you do? You hardly get anything. 10% off, um, what's it, food. 10% off your food, food merch. your merch, and a photo pass. 10% off the photo, photo pass, pass and, you and you can't go in for 65 yeah, days a year. Got free parking. Still, that's it. Four things, I mm. believe. So uh, yeah. that is as that's much... That's a long discussion, wasn't it, <laughs> of our opinion. We that... don't really have one. No, and that no, we don't. We're still <laughs> on the fence. We don't know. I think it's because we don't have to renew now. I think we will. Um, we will. We will. We'll see what happens. It's just in the future. what we do, what but, passes yeah, we so get. I think it's just we slept on it. We don't need to think about it for over a year. Also, I it's think a that time. a lot of people are waiting for the um, the days to be released of the silver pass that yeah. you can't go in because we tend to not want to go in on holidays anyway. Yeah, but, a lot but of I don't think you're going to be allowed to go in on Halloween. Well. Yeah, and for a lot of people that's yeah. really important, but for us we go off peak anyway. Um, but I don't think both of us would have a silver because I think that we would want that extra mm -hmm. extra bit of discount. Free, just for the free photo pass, to be honest. Yeah. Um, that's handy. Well, yeah, because that, that I think is 75 well, euros so, anyway. Yeah. Um, and we only use one of them anyway. So, anyway, yeah. we will see. We will get, probably do another update yep. later on if mm -hmm. anything new um, comes out. And we'll probably do an update video when we've decided what we're going to do. But like Simon said, we've got till August next year. Yeah. And if any of the things that we think we're keeping change, we'll let you know. Yep. Um, but I hope this has been helpful. Yeah. You know, please... And if you, you know, made it this far after our waffle of our opinion... Which didn't really, <laughs> didn't really help. Yeah, well, well, this is the thing. I think that everyone's just a, a bit shocked and it. disappointed. She's done it again. She's done, done it. it again. I'm off again. Yeah, I know. Oh. So I hope this has been really useful. I hope you know it is just things that we have read <clears throat> that have been released yeah. by Disney. It is some discussions where people have asked questions. Some people have phoned up and asked for clarification on yeah. some things, so have been able to give answers. But this is just, as of this moment, what we've read, right what now, we've heard, and happening. what we know. Yeah. So check out everyone else's um, social media accounts, ED92, DLP Report, Disneyland Paris themselves, and other places, annual pass chats on the Facebook site and everything. Yeah. They're always up to date. People are asking tons of questions all the time. And, you know, that's where we got some of our information from. We knew yeah. a little bit what was released but we'll, we'll link some instagram um, <clears throat> um yeah check those places first um but if you want to ask us any comments and stuff uh, feel free and we do our best to answer your questions um but i think that's it for this video uh was going to say short it's probably not now. yep as always with us <laughs> so until next time we'll see you soon bye, bye.